90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, has so far aired five seasons, but many couples have not stayed together since the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off show aired. While the goal of 90 Day Fiancé is to end a season in marriage, Happily Ever After shows how couples navigate married life after tying the knot. Couples usually have to overcome issues, such as language barriers, cultural differences, and family interference, to determine if they should get married. Though some cast members decided to call it quits before making their relationship official, many cast members got married despite red flags in their relationship, while this has left many 90-day fiancé seasons on a hopeful note, Happily Ever After quickly shows the reality of married life. Over the six seasons, many 90-day fiancé couples have explosively parted ways. Danielle and Muhammad Jbali Danielle and Muhammad Jbali took their 90-day fiancé season two romance into two seasons of Happily Ever After, which resulted in their breakup. Muhammad infamously took off to Miami to start a new life, which led to Danielle tracking him down and accusing him of using her as she threw a binder at him. Danielle initially told Muhammad it was her goal to have him deported. However, Muhammad and Danielle have since made amends and are on good terms. Jorge Nava and Anvisa Arkhipchenko. Similar to Danielle and Muhammad, Jorge Nava and Anvisa Arkhipchenko are an iconic franchise couple who got many viewers hooked on the show. The duo appeared on two seasons of Happily Ever After before parting ways with each other and the franchise. Meanwhile, Jorge is now has two young children with his girlfriend and turned his life around while incarcerated. Both Jorge and Anvisa are thriving without each other. Molly Hopkins and Luis Mendes. Nicole Nafziger and Azan Tefu. Nicole Nafziger and Azan Tefu's chaotic relationship spanned many seasons of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. Both Nicole and Azan appear single. Ashley Martson and Jay Smith. Ashley Martson and Jay Smith are yet another 90 day fiance couple who should not have married. Jay showed zero interest in helping Ashley raise her kids and was found on Tinder shortly after getting married. Colt went on to date Jess Carolyn on Happily Ever After, while Larissa rebounded with Eric Nichols. They both split from their rebound romances, though Colt married his cheating partner Vanessa Guerra. Paul and Karine Stell. Paul and Karine Stell span their chaotic and toxic relationship over many seasons of franchise content. The duo split and reconciled many times despite at one point attaining restraining orders against each other.
viewers have become concerned for the welfare of their children, especially after a video of Karine beating Paul with one of their sons present was leaked. Paul and Karine finally decided to end their relationship for good last year. They don't appear to have any plans for reconciliation. Tania Maduro and Sinjin Colchester Tania Maduro and Sinjin Colchester are another franchise couple who recently parted ways. The duo shared a heartfelt goodbye on the single life before moving on to find romance elsewhere after they realized they were incompatible. Since the 90-day fiancé couple split, allegations of assault have been made against Sinjin by a woman he was dating. Meanwhile, Tanya shocked franchise fans by making out with her sister for money. Both Tanya and Sinjin appear to be currently single. Mike Youngquist and Natalie Mordovtseva. Mike Youngquist and Natalie Mordovtseva are the final franchise couple who ended their relationship after appearing on the spin-off show. Mike and Natalie announced their separation at the Happily Ever After season 6 tell all after viewers watched them endlessly clash and argue for several seasons. Natalie went to date again on The Single Life while Mike appeared on 90 Day Diaries. Mike and Natalie are one 90 Day fiancé couple who cold reconcile their differences 